Hey, everybody, welcome back to We Are the Batman. I'm Mike. And this is Matthew. Uh, this is our uh, uh, first non This is confusing. This is our review for the Penguin episode two. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you're watching this, this is not on, uh, not going on the audio podcast. These are just on YouTube. So thank you for checking these out. Uh, episode two of the Penguin called Inside Man. And, and, lord does it live up to the theme of that name matt what did what did you think of this one right off the bat just quick quick feelings right off right off the top of your head it was fine like i think this is where for me not being a fan of watching a villain do things mm -hmm. i'm like the i appreciate the storyline of watching what he's doing to make what we think is going to happen in the latter part of the show happen mm -hmm. But I'm also like, so I'm not really rooting for anybody. I'm just watching it's, this unfold. <laughs> it's, it's, that's kind of what it is. It's, it's, it's hard to say you're rooting for Oz. I mean, he is a compelling, charming character. And he is trying to be like kind of the, benevol the benevolent gangster, the one that is, you know, ruling with a heart of gold and an iron fist, as it were. Um, but he's he's still doing bad things. I mean, yeah. he's still pushing, you know, pushing dangerous drugs that he knows are tainted with seawater. Um, he doesn't care. I mean, so it's weird. And and the relationship with his mom. I mean, it's all just it, it's a but yeah, this episode and I've seen a lot of criticisms for this one online. By the way, I really like the episode. Uh, <laughs> I've seen some criticisms online. The, the pacing was a little weird. They were they, they, they and I think I think where people were a little. I, I, throne was just this whole episode was basically just here's the setup for the rest of the season yeah this was our this was our exposition setup dump of everything else yeah. that happens as a direct result of everything that happened in these first two episodes yeah you're watching the machine put the pins down mm -hmm. while you're holding the ball <laughs> The yep. next, the next episode is you just chunking that heavy thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of pins, I mean that's what Oz is setting up. Oz is setting up all the crime powers that be in Gotham as pins. He is, he is pointing. He is making it so each of them is pointing a gun at each other, but no one's pointing one at him. You know yes. what I mean? And I think the the big thing for me is, and I, I think I made this joke earlier, is like. This is like a fistful, a fin full of dollars, I guess I should say. A penguin <laughs> fin full of dollars. A flipper full of dollars. Yeah, there you go. A flipper full of flipper dollars. Full of dollars. It's uh, just yeah. that movie, but it's him. And I and I think there's again, I didn't love this episode, but I'm still kind of like, I want to see how this unfolds. Like yeah. it's almost like I'm at this point now where I want to see who survives. Yeah that's you know we're, like, trying to, we're trying to see who's making it into the batman part two like let, let's let's get a betting pool going now yeah you know who's who's making it to the end is you know the kurgan is the mother from the show whatever that that show oh, oh, right, 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 yeah. yeah yeah you know i here's where it's got me sitting is um do when I we cover up labels, doesn't matter, right? I don't give a shit. I've got okay. so much Woo. branding stuff around me. It's it's for my own shit. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> check out this podcast that I'm on or this thing that I do. <laughs> um, no, I I fully think like because it keeps making the more I I watch because this show is just living rent free in my head right now. I mean, truly. And the way it's got me thinking is, you know, Matt Reeves called this his epic Batman crime saga. So that's got me thinking. Everybody keeps throwing out these wild uh, uh, theories, including us, about who the next villain might be. And we all keep going to super villains. This is called the epic crime saga. Why are we not throwing some more of like the crime, like like a Rupert Thorne or something like that, or yeah. or a um, guy that killed uh, uh, Dick's parents, Zuko, Zuko, or a Tony Zuko or something like that. I, I think I think at this point we should can start considering those because I now in my head, as we start to like prepare for the fact that this is, you know, again, bridging us into the Batman part two, it's got me thinking, you know, I, I'm, I'm and I was putting together my because it's October now I was putting together my like October watch I'm for sure gonna watch the Batman this month because it's both October and an election year so I almost feel like I should watch the Batman on Halloween um you know at midnight on halloween as we go into november but anyway it got me thinking you can almost start 
the Batman part two with another series a set of another monologue from Batman's journal. And yeah. in that journal, you can just have him say, you know, in the months since since the flood, the penguin has risen to power, filling the void in the Gotham crime world. And you can just be like, oh, cool. But hey, if you're curious how he actually did that, yeah, there's an eight episode series on Max. Or if you don't actually give a shit, you don't. Then then you, all you need to know is that some shit yeah. went down and the penguins in power now. Cool. Who cares? However, this ends. It will be a. This is what happened. This is where we are. Mm -hmm. Let's go. This is just filling time is all it is and I, I it's and again we did some seriously great world building in this from a set piece standpoint because there's several times we see them driving around i'm pretty sure the same like underpass that we see several times outside of like the iceberg lounge and such in gotham in the in the movie yeah. um just in daylight now um we <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little giddy over kind of like i want to get into oz's plan i think i think i want to get into oz's plan a little bit let's do Cause, it wow because i i've rambled a little bit here so i want to ask you when when he pulled the fast one on the bodyguard at the end spoilers uh <laughs> uh were did did you think he was going to plan it on on vd or did you think he, or did you think it did, did you think he was going to plan it on on somebody else what'd you think i, I thought it was going to be the, the the head dude yeah the lieutenant not the guard yeah and i was just like oh this is where we're going Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I, I think like it's interesting because even even knowing what he's doing he's still surprising yeah like we know he's just trying to get these two crime families to kill each other mm -hmm. like that's his plan is that if i get enough of these people to kill each other there will be a power vacuum i can I can take over mm -hmm. because he knows he can't take them on himself. So it's just interesting to go like, no, I would have planted it on that guy, but you went here. So it's again, it's that I love that we've set these pins up and we're just going to hopefully start knocking them down every single episode because yeah, like, honestly, not if you really look at it, Maroni is in jail indefinitely, right? Oh, he's doing life in prison. Yeah, he's okay. life. He's life in prison in Blackgate. So, aside from him, by the way, cool design of Blackgate. Yes, definitely. loves that exterior shot. Yeah. Huh. Besides him, yeah, everybody in the show besides the penguin has to die. Like, except in order there's one problem with your flaw, and that's that Maroney's played by Clancy Brown, so he's doing. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like everybody yeah. besides Maroney has to die in the show in unless, order for Penguin to take over. Unless there's like a team up somehow. Well, unless they're part of that epic crime saga thing I'm talking about. Like, these might be our players for the rest of the trilogy, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Well, Who's well this? and I'm not, and I am not mad about that. Because we've got some great actors playing here. I can, I'm, I'm trying to find the name of the actress who, who's playing, I think, Maroney's wife in this because i've seen her in so many things i love her voice and yeah. it's and it's driving me nuts uh but wow. please continue while i look what what if all of this happens penguin succeeds and through his succession somehow maroney has got is let out of prison and maroney is the villain for the next film i'm not mad at that either and i'm you really have that not moment he's like I'm the Kirk and I knew what you were doing. Yeah. There can only be one. Oh, and he just chops Penguin's head off. But exactly. Me being um, the house. <laughs> I'm going to butcher this name and I do apologize. Uh, uh, Shreya Agda, Ag Agdashlu. I apologize. Uh, she she is an Iranian actress, um, but she's the one who's playing um, oh. uh, uh, Maroni's wife. And uh, she was almost as scary as Sophia is mm -hmm. uh, in that in that scene where she's ready to have Penguin gutted. By the way, that is a big knife to just have in your like 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 I'm watching I'm, my mom and I are rewatching Brooklyn Nine Nine and it's like Rosa pulls that out of her uh, out of her boot as a gag and a sitcom. That is a big knife, sir. Yeah. Um, but she is she is very scary. Uh, so, but but who's to say like yeah like yeah who's to say that. 
like yeah that maroon again epic crime saga yeah. i know we all really want to see these big super villains and and i'm again not ruling it out but who, who's to say that that maroney doesn't become the next big one you know we had the riddler but we also had falcone so now we've got maroney and the penguin maybe you know, we get another gangster with another Batman rogue as the underlying. We can have a little bit of each, you know. So it's oh, I, now I understand why James Gunn, <laughs> upon taking over the DCU, looked at Matt Reeves' plan and said, "Hey, can we make this? Can we can we fold this in?" Because he probably took one look at Matt Reeves' plan and was like, "Shit, this is like half the work done for me." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I got on a little last thing and I was like, I know that woman. Yeah. She's yeah. been in a ton of stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Tackle. She's one of those. It's, it's, it's like, you've seen her in something. She, she, this is the equivalent of going, Oh, that lady. It's yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It, so many things I'm looking. It's I've seen her most yeah. recently, probably star Trek. I think anyway, um, back to the episode. Sorry. Uh, no, seriously, that's fine. Uh, back to this episode. You know, it's, it's interesting. He he mentions that when they bring in uh, Carmine's uh, a brother, Luca, he's like, yeah, he, Luca's a pussy. I, I got him. I don't know. Luca seems to be holding his own pretty good. He he's he's stepping up to the role. I mean, he puts he puts that he puts Castillo down. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, I, we're done with this. I'm, I'm putting an end to this. No more. You know, so he thinks anyway. Yeah. uh you know kind of tells oz you know you know kind of puts oz in his place once or twice i mean i don't know i think luca's kind of holding his own pretty good so far he seems yeah that's one of those like are you sure that's who we're talking about because he doesn't seem like he's this this you know i i do have a big gripe with this show Hit me with i think it. i mentioned it last time okay i know this is the crime side of this story Mm -hmm. and i know this is a bunch of villains mm -hmm. but like there was not this much language in the batman no 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 they're leaning I, into the fact they're on hbo and they're i leaning felt into the fact they're on hbo that's that it doesn't throw me bad yeah like they drop shit and bitch okay but he's dropping mf and f list and f that i'm just like I, okay like i think the reason they're doing that is they're really trying to hammer in the idea that like these aren't good people yeah because we don't do because it's i i i really do i agree like it is noticeably more extreme because they 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 used their one f-bomb in the batman because you only get one in a pg-13 movie yeah um and they use it as a throwaway um not a throwaway but just you know they didn't batman didn't do it yeah um so I get where you're coming from. I mean, I even I have noticed like, man, they really just I but I think it was more of like, hey guys, we're on HBO. Let's yeah. just let's just and it's HBO, it's about it's because literally, like we've said, this is the Sopranos in Gotham. Yeah. And so they're the Sopranos, one of the things that made Sopranos as iconic as it was was the things that I mean they they took their license the HBO light what they were licensed to do with HBO and yeah. pushed it as far as they could. And so that's I think I yeah. think with this being a love letter to the Sopranos, I think that's why. Well, I'm just like because it's rated TVMA mm -hmm. and I think that's beyond TVMA. Well, that's that's as high as it goes. MA is, as high, MA is yeah. as high as it goes. So, so no, that because House, House, yeah, House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones is MA, Euphoria is MA. I mean, yeah. All that to say, kids or parents or whoever's watching this, this yeah. is not a kid show. If no, you watch the Batman with your, mm -hmm. yeah. If you watch the Batman with your kids, this is not a show you want them watching. I think that's my only. Not that my kids give a crap about watching the Penguin right but that's my only thing of like yeah i think and and i don't know it maybe it's just me being weird about it but it's like well you're a dad yeah i think you you're there needs a little bit more like this is not your kids should not watch the show well I, again I it's, it's clear it's, but it's, I just well <laughs> this is one of those it's on hbo at 9 p.m on a streaming yeah. service it's labeled tvma 
if if your kids are watching this, that's on you. I'm sorry, that, <laughs> yeah, that's on you. True. You get no sympathy for me. What it's like the people that complained about their kids doing the stuff that was on Jackass back in the '90s. It's like they put a warning before and after every commercial break. Yeah, you're <laughs> and it's on at 11 true. o'clock. Why is your six year old watching MTV at 11 o'clock? Anyway, yeah. um, but I I I do I do hear you. Like yeah, like I, but I also think that's why they were like, let's make sure this is like labeled as an hbo show like they have been very deliberate with their marketing in no way have they marketed this in any way yeah. as a fun comic book you know kind of batman penguin bad guy show it's like no yeah. like we're marketing like you could just say this has no connection to batman whatsoever it's just a crime drama about a gangster that's called the yeah. penguin and that's yeah. it yeah there's not going to be an imaginex line for the penguin show <laughs> <laughs> they'll be mcfartland toys but not a man yeah uh, i want to talk about this scene that sophia has with this old friend of hers at her brother's funeral mm-hmm. where they're like oh my god i you, you always had the best outfits by the way yeah whoever's doing sophia's costume design on this show 10 out of 10 give them in the emmy award now my god uh as a, as a straight man work um i love that that scene was so it just had me screaming at my tv what did she do when she just says hi to her friend's daughter cordially and in full view of her she grabs her daughter and pulls her closer yeah that's not gonna give that's not gonna give anything away uh uh but again it has me going what did sophia do man because I don't think we're saying this is the same hangman from Dark Victory anymore. I don't know. It's it's hinted she murdered a bunch of people, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. But we also see she's doing uh, psychotherapy of some kind or hip, hypnotherapy with red lights. In no way, shape, or form do I believe that that is Jervis Tetch, uh, Mad Hatter, or Scarecrow Jonathan Crane. You can drop all those theories right now you're they made a very excellent point i love this too they hold that shot on his desk of her remembering he says look at my desk what do you see and they hold on his nameplate for like four seconds to show you this is not jonathan crane or jervis tetch this is just somebody else this is just a therapist this is just a therapist this is not this is not Chris Nolan. Oh, this guy's name is is Mr. Reese, and it kind of sounds like mysteries. That makes him the Riddler. No, none of that crap. <laughs> it's like Matt Reeves has been very deliberate with like, no, this guy is the Penguin. This guy is Batman. This is Catwoman. Like, we're not. Yeah. So, but I want to know what Sophia did. I I just want to know, like, when are Luke Cage and Ironfish going to show up? <laughs> oh yeah because i know i was like where do i know this guy where do I, oh that's cotton mouth or not cotton mouth um uh shades yeah shades shades yeah cotton mouth i love that dude. yeah so good in those in those shows so i'm like Great i'm actor. like dude if this guy ends up being the guy pulling strings and he's the main villain like maybe he i don't know i just was like and it says on imdb he's in all the episodes Yes, it does. So I so, am I am curious what his role is gonna be for sure. Um, like as as far as uh, Theo Rossi, that's his name. Yeah. The thing Theo the thing the thing for me is I think you're saying it best. This may not have been the most exciting episode. Mm-mm. I mean, but that also is it's like you know, comparing the Dark Knight to other Batman movies. Like that first episode was so good. This yeah. episode's not as good as the first one, but you do have to have this like again, now that we've got you know, you gotta you gotta put the pawns and the rooks out there. Yeah, all the pieces are in place now. Now the bishop and the queen can come out, and now we're just gonna wreck things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many different references can I, you know? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm I do try another one. <laughs> <laughs> Two other scenes I did want to talk about real quick. Uh, one yeah. is uh, I, I love the, the the whole scene, the whole sequence that takes place at Oz's apartment. Everything from I from the conversation he has with Eve at the end where you see that like, yeah, she's a working woman. He is paying her. But she's not but an idiot. 
but there, well, but there is also a relationship here. Yes. You know what I mean? Like there's a business transaction happening, but there's also a relationship because I mean, she even says like, you gave me too much money. Yeah. That's not a sentence you ever think you're going to hear after that, the end of that, uh, yeah. anything. Um, but also just the conversation the night, you know, the night before where, yeah, like you said, she's not an idiot. She, yeah. Odd, odds are her and her girls have been playing the mob scene long enough. They've picked they, up a thing or they two. They know when to shut up. They know when to shut up and just, just, I, I'm trying to think of a tasteful way to put this, do their job. Yeah. Like, anyway, anyway, the other scene I wanted to mention is the fact that poor, pe- poor penguins got the soap gene for cilantro, that poor bastard. Mm. And he's like, I told you no cilantro and tacos. You might shove a bar of soap in your mouth. And all I could think was, oh, you, no. Oh, poor penguin. Because cilantro is a wonderful thing. You have the soap yes, gene, don't you, Matt? No, but I think my friend does because we oh. it just dawned on me right now. We went out for tacos one day mm-hmm. and like halfway through his last week, it's like, oh, it tastes like a bar of soap. And I'm like, That's why? And I'm like, I wonder. I'm gonna have to ask. He's got the gene. He's got the gene. Uh but but also we see a little bit in these sequences that uh that Vic, there is more to Vic because people are looking for Vic. Vic has people that are looking for him. He's getting texts and there are missing people posters up on walls where at at the drop house they were vacating. Mm -hmm. And, and, and Vic and penguin have a, a little coming to Jesus moment at the end too, where, you know, lay down, lay lay down. 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 (laughs) Again, I say, only penguin can survive the show. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, 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 the more the show goes on, the more I'm like, I like Vic a lot. I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> Something else to think about too, as we kind of wrap up here, is, um, you know, we 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 talked about Batman Cape Crusader with Mini Driver's version. It was always like, oh yeah, this is a penguin that's you know good at what what she good at what the penguin does is competent yeah. basically, and we know that like this penguin's smart. I mean, he he's but but he's still kind of failing upwards. So we assume he gets out of this show, you know, scot-free and in power. We could still see this penguin, you know, have kind of a, like, like a dirty victory, like a victory with an asterisk, like one where like, yeah, he comes out on top, but at what cost, you know what I mean? Or like, like, what if, what if he 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 kills, you know, Maroni, mm. but then the the gun explodes and it kills Sophia, and then he's like, "No, Hammerman will save us," and then <sighs> she dies. And... <laughs> Sorry. Or what if it's like what? But like seriously, like what? Like what? It's one of those. It's like what if he's you know basically left as being like the king of a broken kingdom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, just just he's like yeah, you're 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 the most powerful crime lord in Gotham. And nobody wants to work with you, or, or and you've or, cleaned house. There's yeah. nobody to work for you. There's nothing like yeah, and we still haven't seen what this new drug is, and we don't know how that's going to play into if at all things going in the future. So lots more to lots more to glean from the next episode for sure. We won't have to wait as long this time. Now it's just going week to week every Sunday. Uh, We'll get the next one out sooner, assuming there's not another devastating set of hurricanes that goes all the way up to Ohio somehow and knocks out my power for five days. But, you know, it is what it is anyway. Uh, let us know uh, what you guys thought of this episode of The Penguin down below in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank ah. you guys so very much. Do it. <laughs> pow zam bing i don't know uh do that and we will see you guys again oh by the way make sure you guys uh, follow the show on all social media if we're new to this facebook and instagram at watb pod i think we're on threads we never post on there uh you can find me on social media at mr mike shea you can find me on threads and twitter at mr j ninja gotta figure that out uh, that's gonna do it for this episode of we are the batman no it's not for this uh review of the penguin we'll see you guys again next time same penguin time same penguin channel nope no not again